What's up, Internet? My name is Matt Gisantana. Welcome to The Office, where we discuss tech and the world around it. Next up in the Workspace Ergonomics series, Standing Desk. I wanted to try out a standing desk for a long time. However, I didn't want to bite the bullet and buy one of the motorized legs version. So I got a desktop standing desk. Is that what you call it? Anyways, I've been nervous to try out a standing desk, especially one like this because of all the additional moving parts. I wasn't sure how I was going to work on my Ikea desk. My Ikea desk is already very shaky. So adding this extra weight, I'm not sure how it's going to respond, but I'm definitely willing to try it out on camera with you guys to see if this works for me. A wise man once said, Standing has proven to be healthier, increases productivity, and just looks cooler. Picture someone doing something heroic. Now, was he sitting or standing? Not counting FDR. So the purpose of a standing desk to me isn't to stand all day. Obviously, you can introduce other injuries by standing all day. The benefit that I'm going to find in a standing desk is that sometimes my lower back and my shoulders get a little tense and standing up really helps relieve that. So I'm hoping that every now and then if I just stand up, especially while I'm editing my long editing sessions, if I can stand up for, you know, 15, 20 minutes every hour or so, I figured it'll help out with my posture as well as my shoulder and my lower back pain. So without further ado, let's get this thing unboxed and set up because I'm still nervous if my desk can even hold it up. And I promise you, I promise you I'm gonna fast forward it. You don't have to watch this whole thing. Just, just, just give me a second. First impressions, the alloy seat standing desk is solid. I'm getting a little bit of shake from the monitor when I type, nothing too bad. And I'm 6'2 and I can raise it up to a comfortable level. My shoulders are straight. It feels really good when I type. So overall, very good. The desk also features a slot on the top of it for your tablet or phone. That's pretty handy along with the electric hovering system. This is a nice benefit over a gas power system as it allows for a consistent, smooth and stable movement of the desk as it raises and lowers. This will prevent anything from falling off the desk from, you know, the abrupt movement from like a gas powered one. Well, I did it. If I like this setup, I'll probably move to a motorized desk later on. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated because I've seen some great options out there and I'm actually pretty excited to go that route, even though this may do in the meantime. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe for more content. Also hit that bell for notifications. If you didn't like this video, you're probably not still watching. To everyone else, thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.